in order to integrate the PayPal, first I will have to create a developer account for this reason. Remember that I will also create a sandbox account later using the developer account. Sandbox account is not actually a real account, it is just a testing account. If everything works well in sandbox, then it will work perfectly in the live or main account. So in order to create the account, that means the developer account, I am going to search here in the Google, that is developer PayPal. You will see that there is a link developer.paypal.com, just click here. After coming this space, I am going to the top right section. You see there is a link that is login to dashboard. I am going to click here. And here you will see there is a sign up button in the bottom. Here you can yes, I accept this button. You can click. And here you will see there is a sign up button. I am going to click on the sign up button. It will take you to a page where you will be able to create a developer account for the PayPal. So in order to create a PayPal developer account here the country I am not going to change the country and as an email you can give any email if you want. So there is actually no reason or there is no uh, boundary you can give any fake email address also here. So I am going uh, to give an email address for example developer at the rate of cwa.com for example. Now here I am going to create a password, oh, okay. I am going to give a password here, then I am going to click on create account. The account is going to be created and after the account is creation, immediately you are taken to the PayPal developer PayPal dashboard. So from the home page, now I am going to the sandbox accounts this section i am going to click here and you will see there is a default account a default account is given here that is a personal account if you want you can also use that or if you want you can create a new one uh, the existing account you can go here and this is the personal account you see already given personal.example.com everything is given here that is the name the paypal balance etc are given here okay so the account email address is this one now i am going to change the password so the new password i am going to change that is my new password i change the password click on save changes okay you updated your password for this sandbox account okay that's good now i am going back here and i am going to the home again and then I am going to sandbox accounts and this account I will use no problem but here another one I am going to give you that is if you want you can change the balance so I am going to edit the balance for the per, uh, personal account that is for example 20,000 USD so click on save changes okay now go to the home and then again go to the sandbox accounts and I am going to create another account here that is a business. This one is default. I did not create it. Yet. The system gave it to me. I am going to create a business account from here. So select the business that will be actually the merchant account. So I am going to click on the create account button. You see after the personal there is a business account I created here. So I am going to edit the account from here. And here you see the business account email address is this one and all other information are given here like the previous okay everything is given here so PayPal balance is this one for the business account no problem and the name I am going to change for example Smith Brent anything you can give here I change the name of the businessman and all other items are given here payment review it's set uh, given here okay i am not going to change anything just going to change the password the new password will be the similar to the personal account i just change the password so click on save changes so the changes are made 
I am going again to my home page and then I am going to the sandbox account you see now I have two accounts one is business and one another one is personal account now I am going to the app and credentials section you see there is no rest API apps available here but in order to integrate the PayPal I will have to create an app now so just click on the create app and from the create app I can give anything here for example CWA test app here and it will be merchant that is okay and the sandbox account that means the business account you can select from here okay but uh, here no account is selected merchant or seller create app let's check it something went wrong that means i must have to create a sandbox business account so i am going to sandbox account again and from here the business account i am going to edit the account i am going to check why it is not showing no apps assigned to the sandbox account create an app to receive okay from here i can create an app uh, it will be a perfect thing so from here you can add the rest api apps so okay now cwa test app now automatically you see the sandbox account is selected so click on the create app here so from inside the business account i will have to create the rest api apps you see the app is created okay so this is the app client id and this is the app secret id if you go to the app and credential section you will see that the app comes here now or from the sandbox you can also see that if you go to the home page and if you go to the sandbox and in the business from here if you go to edit the account in this location you will also be able to see the rest api apps so from here or if you want to the um, to go to the apps and credentials you can also see the app here so this is the app name i will use in my application i will have to use the client id and i will have to use the client secret so client id is given here uh, not all the information is showing if you click here this one is uh, has been copied here just paste it you see this is the big item and this is the, actually the client id secret id is hidden if i click here it will be shown and you will see this is the secret id i can also copy that from here and if i paste it here you will see that this is a big secret id so these two information actually i will need in order to implement the paypal in my application so when i will go to use these two items i will have to just exit from that developer account and you can easily go to the sandbox.paypal.com here you can log in if you go to the sandbox.paypal.com if you go to the login you will see it is asking me the sandbox email address so from here if i go to the developer account and then the sandbox accounts you see the personal account if you want to log in the sandbox personal account you will have to use this email so i am going to copy this one and i am going to paste it this is the email address then click on next and then password i am going to give that i changed so click on login you will see the sandbox dashboard comes here and this is the personal account sandbox so this is the twenty thousand. you know i added this balance so it is working perfectly so in the similar way you can also uh, go to the same link that is sandbox.paypal.com after logout and you can log in there using the business account that means the using the business email address you can log in to your business account so i hope you have understood the whole process how to create a developer account and how to create the sandbox accounts and then how to create the rest api apps for the business account